With Canva, you can design professional looking business cards using their free business card templates. In this Canva tutorial, I will be creating three different business cards, two of which will be landscape and one will be portrait. To find the business card templates, you can either hover over templates in the top menu, go under business and hit business cards. From the templates main page, you can also click on marketing and then hit business cards or you can simply search in the search bar up at the top. And as you can see, there are many, many different options to choose from. And if you hover over the business cards, you'll be able to see both the back and the front. This will give you a better idea as to what the business card is going to look like once you print it. And you may notice that some of the business cards have little crowns on them or even a little money sign. The money sign means that part of the template uses a paid element, whether that's an image or perhaps a font that you need to pay for. And the crown indicates that you need a pro account in order to access the template. If you'd like to give Canva Pro a try so that you can access these premium templates, I'll leave a link in the description to a 30 day free trial. So once you have a look around and find one that you like, you can go ahead and click on it to get started. And I'm going to choose this one for the first example. Once you click on it, it will expand and give you a few more details. And again, you can look at the front and back. It will also give you related business card templates to choose from. But if you're happy with the one that you chose originally, go ahead and click on the customize this template button in the top right. And this is the fun part. This is where you can start to customize the business card and make it your own. So let's go ahead and update the initials in the back here. And to edit any text, simply double click on it. Next, we'll go ahead and update the name. And there we have the front of the card done. Next, if we scroll down, we'll see the back of the card. So again, we'll start to double click on the text so that we can replace it with ours. And then we'll continue replacing the rest of the text. And there you have it, we've updated all of the text and our business card is ready to go. Once you're done making your business card, simply hit the share button up in the top right hand corner. From there, we'll hit download. And you can either select a PNG or even a JPEG. And that's completely fine if you're sharing this business card digitally, perhaps via an email. But if you wanted to print it, head on down to PDF print and then hit the download button. From there, the PDF will be saved to your computer and you can send it in to be printed. And now on to business card number two. I'm going to head back to the templates tab here and pick another one. From there again, we'll go ahead and customize this template. And in this business card template, I'll be doing more customizations Things like changing colors, changing fonts, uh, just to give you an idea as to what the capabilities are when it comes to creating a business card in Canva. And the first thing I'm going to do is update the colors found on this business card. Now the template comes with this kind of orange color, these orange shades here. And let's say your brand colors are more of a blue shade. We can go ahead and select the shape here. And then from there, edit the colors. So we'll go up to the top here and click on the color that we'd like to change. And then we can select the new color. We'll do the same thing here and I'll select a lighter blue. And then we'll change the icon colors as well. 
And Canva will save your recently used or your document colors up at the top here, which just makes life a bit easier. So we'll go through and change the rest of them. And actually looking at it, the black is a bit dark on the blue, so I'm going to change that to a white. I'll go back and do the first one as well. Moving on to the third one here. And last but not least, we'll do the website icon. And we'll go ahead and apply the changes to the front of the card as well. So again, we'll click on the shape that we'd like to edit. And then we can hit the color up in the top left. We'll go ahead and keep moving around the document to change the rest of the colors. Next, we'll move on to the company logo. Now, the logo in this template is simply a Canva element over here, along with text. But if you already have a company logo and you'd like to upload the file to use within Canva, you can certainly head over to the Uploads tab here, upload your file, and then click on it to add it to your business card. Now, you can also replace the element here. We'll simply delete the current one by selecting it and then hitting the Backspace button. And then we'll head on over to the Elements tab to search for something new. I'm just going to search the word logo to see what kind of things come up. And then I'll hit graphics because we don't really want anything that's animated since this is going to be on a printed business card. From there, you can have a scroll through to look at different elements that you can use. And once you find one that you like, all you have to do is click on it in order to add it to your business card. From there, you can do things like resize it. You can also reposition it simply by clicking on it and dragging it. The great thing about Canva is that it will help you lock things into place. It kind of does the hard work for you when it comes to judging, you know, where to position things, which is great. And then next we can go ahead and double click on the text in order to update that as well. And just like the front of the card where we changed the icons from black to white, we're going to also change the font. To do that, we'll click on it and then head on up to the color up here. Click on that and then hit white. I'm also going to space the letters out a touch. And to do that, I'll click on the spacing icon up here and then simply increase the letter spacing. And one last thing before we head on back to the back of the card, I'm going to select the element here, hold down the shift key and select the text and then drag one of the corners to increase the size. From there, I'll just reposition it. And the hard purple line indicates that it's within the center of the business card. All right, so let's head on back to the back of the card. And we'll update the logo here as well. So I'll select that and hit the backspace to delete it. Next, I'll click on the element again to add it to the card. Simply drag it into place and we'll go ahead and minimize it a little bit. It's a bit big. And then again, double click on the text to replace it. We'll go ahead and change it to white. And then we can go ahead and replace all of the text over on the left hand side.
If you run into a situation where the text kind of runs out of room, you can simply select it and then drag from one of the sides here. Now let's say you wanted to change a font. You can do so by clicking on the text and then heading on up to the font dropdown. From there, you can click on different options here. And that's it, we've got business card number two all done and ready to go. So let's head on back to our templates page. And for this last business card, I'm going to create a portrait type business card. So that is a vertical card. And as you can see, most of the cards here on the template page are the landscape style. So I'm going to go over to the left hand side here and click on the portrait format. That's going to filter it through for us and just pull the portrait cards. And just like before, you'll notice that there are paid options as well as the Canva Pro templates. But for this tutorial, we're going to stick to free options. So once you have a look through and find one that you like, simply go ahead and click on it. And then again, we'll hit that customize this template button. So first things first, we'll go ahead and double click on the text to replace it with our company name. And then again, we'll replace the text down here. Now you'll notice that when we click on this section here, it is all grouped together. So the element as well as the two bits of text are all one group. To ungroup it, you can hit the ungroup button up here. And then we'll go ahead and delete the element simply by clicking on it and then hitting that backspace button. And then I'm going to go over to elements to find something that represents our company. And if you already have an existing logo, simply hit the uploads tab and then simply click on it and add it to your card. Now, because this is just an example, I don't actually have a logo, so I'm going to just find an element that best suits our business card. Once you find something that you like, you can simply click on it to add it to the card. And then from there, we can do things like rotate it and resize it. We can also change the color by hitting the color wheel at the top. Just going to resize it again, just a touch. Another thing that we can do is play around with the background color. So let's say we wanted to change the entire color of the card. We can simply click on the background like I just did and then hit the color up here. And then we can play around with different colors. There we go. And now we can move on to the back of the card. And again, simply double click on the text to replace it. And we'll go ahead and do the same with the contact details. And in this case, I'm not going to change the background color to the same green as the front. It's kind of neat to have the two different colors and they do go together. So I'll leave that as is. However, I would like to add the same leaf element that we have on the front to the back as well. As of right now, the back is looking a little plain. So I'm hoping that the leaf will kind of just add a little character to the back of the business card. So again, we'll go ahead and click on it. And I would like for the leaf to kind of arch this way, if that makes sense. So as of right now, it's kind of going the other way. As you can see here, but I would like to flip it so that it comes down the other way. Now to do that, we simply select the element, click on flip, and then we can flip horizontally. 
So from there, I'm just going to rotate it and resize it. So now we can make it quite a bit bigger because it's just going to be something that kind of, that you can faintly see in the background. As you'll notice, it, it is on top of the text. So we will reposition it by clicking on the position button here and hit backward. And then I'm also going to decrease the transparency. So we'll click on the transparency icon and then just minimize it so that it's very subtle. And you may have noticed that there is no name on this business card. Actually, there's no name and there's no title. Now you could leave the card as is if it's just kind of a general business card that anyone can hand out. But if you'd like to add your name and title, you can certainly do so by clicking on the text tab over on the left hand side. From there, we have very basic text that you can add, but you can also add font combinations if you'd like as well. Now these font titles might be a little bold for what we're going for here. So I'm actually going to scroll back up to the top again and simply add a subheading. From there, we can go ahead and add our name. And of course, I'm going to reposition it by dragging it down to the bottom here. And since it's a name, I'm going to make it a touch bigger. To make it stand out even more, I'm going to hit the bold button up here. And I want to just make sure that it's lined up with the rest of the text. Last but not least, I will add a title. So I'm going to select the body text option over here on the left and I'll go ahead and enter my title. Again, we'll go ahead and drag it down to the bottom here and make sure that it's lined up correctly. And I somewhat prefer this text over the text in the details here. So I'm going to go ahead and select this, make note of what it is, and then I'm going to change this text here as well. So let's head on up to the font drop down here. And then we'll unselect the bold option just to make it a little bit softer. And there you have it. We've got business card number three all done. And just to give you an idea as to what it looked like originally, here is the template over on the left hand side and what we turned it into. As you can see, the overall look and feel of the business card has kind of remained the same, but we can add things like different colors and different fonts and elements even to kind of make these business cards our own. And again, once you're done building your business card, simply hit the share button in the top right hand corner, hit download. And from there, we select the PDF print if we're printing it, or you can simply save as a PNG or JPEG if you're just going to be sharing this digitally. And then from there, we make sure that both pages are selected so that you're including both the front and the back of the business card, and then hit the download button. I hope that you found this Canva tutorial helpful, and if you did, please do give it a like and subscribe. And be sure to stay tuned for more tutorials and videos on how to grow your business.